So this is another match against Tuftay and we have Royal Carriage Bridge, which is obviously the powerful combo here. Um, Storyteller helps a lot, Magpie helps a lot. I will certainly open Magpie here. Um, do I want silver or something like enchantress? Enchantress can prevent uh, the opponent getting magpies, which um, can be quite relevant. But then it's hard to hit five, so I think I really want the silver. Here I get the bridge. So he opens bridge, not magpie, that's weird to me at least. Magpie helps a lot to draw all the, the things together. Oh, this is a terrible hand here. I had a copper uh, in a state last turn, so I should be able to hit four again. Then I will get a bridge here. Uh, maybe a storyteller would have been better for the first five. Ah, oh, this is even a silver. I think I get a storyteller first. And now it's basically only royal carriages and bridges. So now he gets the magpie. Um, I could get Bridge and Enchantress, but I don't think... Um, I'm not sure how useful the Enchantress will be, because i rather play Bridges. So, I think I just get a royal carriage and nothing. So, this storyteller was is amazing here. Oh, although... <laughs> Um, will I get a silver here? Yeah, let's get a silver. I should have probably played uh, the Royal Carriage before Magpie so that I can call it on Magpie. Oh, uh, I 
don't want anything. Well, let's get an Enchantress. I'm not sure if I play it. This might be terrible wrong. So here I call the royal carriage on bridge. Or if I draw a bridge, ro call royal carriage on magpie, yeah. Or an uh, enchantress, yeah. I'm pretty sure the storyteller will turn out really useful because all I want is play all uh, a lot of bridges and then thing. Uh, then it doesn't matter the coins that I generated. So magpie. Okay, I will play a bridge. Call royal carriage. On play this so I can get Royal Carriage Bridge Rich. Although I only want Royal Carriages and one bridge, uh, yeah. I don't want any bridges now I think anymore now I think. So this is really good. I can get another royal carriage. Uh, what did I play? Magpie and bought a royal carriage. Those Horrible estates, maybe I should have got a trade route there rather than an enchantress. Uh, so royal carriage. Magpie. Uh, play bridge. Car royal carriage. Auto play and get those royal carriages. It's a little bit risky with all those magpies, but um, it's better than not getting them. So, five magpies and four bridges. Let's see what we can do. Magpie. This is terrible. Bridge. Autoplay treasures. I get storytell. Storyteller, yeah. Okay, this is good. Royal carriage, royal carriage, magpie, silver. Okay. Bridge. So let me count. I have five, 
six. He has four royal carriages on the tavern mat. This is not good. <laughs> So if he gets a lot of magpies, I'm toast. Um. So I think I need to get some points. Like Duchy, this gives me five points because of Basilica. I don't think I want an estate. This probably won't matter. So, end turn. So there goes one magpie. Oh, he plays Enchantress. I didn't even notice that he bought one. So how does royal carriage works with um, royal carriage work with enchantress? So if I have the first time each other player plays an action card. It seems stupid to call a royal carriage here. The mission seems pointless unless I want to empty the magpies. There are all my royal carriages. Five royal carriages. And I have two here and these are my other three. So he should be able to win here. At least he should get like as many points as he can get. Let's hope that my magpie draws a, royal, uh, a bridge. So he can get like a lot of duchies. He 
isn't able to end it though. And duchies, I assume, as many as he can get. Yeah, so he has 37 points. So royal carriage, royal carriage, royal carriage, magpie. Storyteller. Mm, I have time, right? He won't. He has now a terrible deck. So Enchantress seems really good, and then next turn I can probably end it or something. Enchantress. And actions and turn. If he plays magpie, I may Okay, this is really good for me, I think, because it makes it easier to pile if you get the opportunity to do so. So I can call Royal Casual on Storyteller so that I get an extra action to play the second bridge. I'm not sure if gaining a bridge is right. Oh, I can even call it on Magpie. This is probably better. Let's see. I play Magpie. Yeah, I want to empty the magpie, so call a royal carriage here. Okay. Done reacting. Let me think um, for a second. Can I win here already? So I suddenly want done reacting. Um, if I play bridge, bridge, and call royal carriages. Two, three, four, five, six. That's six bridges, that's six coins. That's six coins and everything costs six less. And free that, I think. Six. Counting. I missed that message here. Sorry, Sinister Hologram. Um, six. Uh, I can't count. So that's three provinces and 
I have seven buys. So it's three provinces and three duchies. That's nine twenty seven. It's forty one points, right? So I should be able to win. So I just play storyteller as a cantrip. And then play bridge, bridge. Royal carriage, royal carriage, royal carriage. That's six that's six nine coins. So and seven buys. So I can get four provinces and three duchies. So storyteller. No treasures. Magpie. Bridge, core royal carriage, core royal carriage, core royal carriage, core royal carriage, bridge, autoplay treasures. I can even buy the provinces, and this should give me the win, yeah. So thanks for watching, leave some comments, um, what do you think about Royal Carriage Bridge and how I could have played this maybe better or differently. Um, thanks for watching, see you soon, bye.